Hi, and welcome back to part two of my garage sale haul. Uh, this is going to be all Christmas decor type items, but I divided it up because it was just so big. If you haven't seen part one, it'll be linked up here somewhere, and you can see that part of the haul. Uh, I'm Thrifty Tina B. If you're just now tuning in, uh, I do yard sale hauls, garage sale hauls, thrift hauls. Um, I'm starting to do some DIYs. I'm not very good at DIYs. I'm learning, so I take you along with me and we learn together. Um, I also do uh, come along with me to the thrift store or whatever. Uh, just various things. So if you like that kind of thing and want to see more, please hit the subscribe button down below. And with that, we'll get into this part of my garage sale haul. <laughs> okay, first thing I'm going to start with, and I've got a couple of big items here, so i got to figure out how to do this, but I'm going to start out with the smalls first, I guess, what you call them. And these three items I got on Macari, uh, they were, let's see, the two little ones were seven, and then the big one was ten. So, and I just fell in love with these, and you'll see why in a minute. <laughs> first one I'm going to show you is this and it's a little Anna Lee Christmas mouse isn't that cute oh I just fell in love with these suckers it's from 2002 but look at that cute little face they're just so adorable and then I also got this one <laughs> aren't they cute I just fell in love with them. Their faces are just so happy. And this one is, let me see if it says on the tag, 93, 1993, Anna Lee. And he is just the cutest little Christmas mouse, I swear. And so I got these two. And to go with them, and I got this one for 10. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? It's a little reindeer. Well, he's not so little. He's pretty big. Annalee reindeer and Annalee elf. And he fits on the reindeer. And the elf is from 2005. And let me see if there's a tag on here anywhere for the reindeer. Oh, yes. 2007. But aren't they cute? And I thought they would look so cute just sitting together with either one of these mice on the side. I just think that'll make a cute Christmas display. <laughs> so I got this set for 10 and these two mice, I believe they were seven. They might have been $7 a piece plus shipping, but I couldn't resist them. So I had to show you guys those. They're just too cute, too cute. Let me set those out of the way. Okay, now we'll start with the garage sale stuff. First thing I found at one of the garage sales is this big lantern. Look at this sucker. <laughs> Doesn't have a bottom to it, but that's okay because I'm going to use it out on my front porch. Put some kind of decoration in there or something. I might paint it white or I might leave it black. I don't know yet. And decorate it with some lights. But it's beautiful and I only paid a dollar for this sucker. So that's going to look real cute out on my porch, maybe for Christmas time or something. I don't know yet. I haven't decided quite yet, but I will. It does open up. So I had to get that for a dollar. You can't beat that. Whew. It's a little dirty. It needs washed. Then I found these two guys and she had three dollars on them. But I got them for $2 each. So $4 for the set. And look at these Christmas gnomes. Are they cute? Look at them. They're going to look adorable on my porch for Christmas time. Well, maybe my porch, maybe somewhere in my house. I don't know yet. That's still yet to be decided. But I just thought they were too cute to pass up for $2 a piece. So I picked those up. I'll set those back over there. Then I'm going to start over here. And this thing is rather big, so I'm only going to show you part of it. But it's a great big, as you can see, 
great big wood stand. I'm going to change out this lantern for a slightly bigger one and maybe put a candle in it. And this will either be on my front porch and it's lit. It has lights on it. And it's just this great big hanging lantern thing. And I think, and I got a page. Well, if I can show you. I don't know if you can see that tag, but it says $5. So I paid $5 for that. And that's going to look cute on my front porch. Like I said, I'm going to take that smaller lantern off and put a bigger lantern on it with a light or something. I think that'll look adorable. And then I found this Christmas sm Sparkling Snow Christmas Roll. And I have a Christmas Village, so this is going to work perfect to lay out on, you know, before I put my Christmas Village out. And it was only a dollar. So I grabbed that. And like I said, I've got a lot here, so I'm trying to move things around. Then I came across this, and this is old. <laughs> and it's tin. And this is the back. It used to go to something. I don't know what. But I just love the look of it. And I can use that somewhere for my Christmas decor, either inside or outside. I don't know. But it will get painted. Fresh coat of paint on it or something. And But I thought that was cute. And this was a dollar. So I grabbed that. Set that down. And I was looking for some reindeer for to go on either side of my fireplace. And I found these. For two dollars a piece look at these there's this one and I think I'll freshen up the the bows and stuff on it the garland and stuff or I might change it out for something else that'll match my decor better but there's this one and, and they're like rot they're iron and they're just they're beautiful two dollars a piece there's that one and then there was this one And he doesn't have any decoration on him, so I can put some Christmas stuff and maybe a nice ribbon around his, his neck. And, and I think those will go cute on either side of my fireplace with the poinsettia plants that I have. But $2 a piece, and look how big they are. So, yeah. <laughs> I ended up getting those. And let me set those down. Out of the way and we're gonna get into this box over here first thing I found was these two things and they're vintage look how little the purse this must have been a little girls or something but it's an apron a vintage Christmas apron isn't that pretty and these were 25 cents a piece and they got they're so it's so cute it's got little pockets right here And a nice ribbon and I thought I would maybe hang them up on a hook or something here in the kitchen at Christmas time and this is the second one and like I said these were 25 cents a piece take that sticker off oops and then there was this one and I just thought they were so pretty and you don't see the vintage aprons anymore so I thought I'm going to tie those up, make the bows real pretty, and just kind of hang them in on a hook in my kitchen for Christmas time. I think they'll make a nice little accent piece. Then I found this guy, and he was 50 cents. Isn't he pretty? I don't think he needs anything done to him unless I want to change his color. But he's gorgeous. So he will go somewhere in my Christmas decor. Set that down there. Then I found these picks and the whole, look at these, aren't these beautiful? It's a beautiful, look at that. Beautiful like coppery red or maroon red. And I'm going to use these probably in my tree somewhere. And I paid 50 cents for the whole bundle. And they're just beautiful, so I grabbed those. And 
And then the rest of this box was $2 for the entire box. So this is the first thing. And it's just a cute Christmas light. Let's see, it plugs in. And it's got the two cardinals on it. And y'all know I love cardinals. It might need a little juicing up and stuff, but maybe a red ribbon around the bottom or a plaid ribbon around the bottom or something. But that'll look pretty sitting, sitting out at Christmas time. And as I go through this box, I'm just. Uh, then I got this whole thing of Christmas ornaments. And all this was in a box for $2. Look at this cute little snowman. Isn't he cute? Somebody made him, but he is just adorable. And I don't know why this was in the box, but it must have been in the box. But it's a watch. It's like a fitness tracker watch or something. And then there's all these different ornaments. And there's a, the plastic style, but I like that because, but they, I think they're slightly vintage because they, they look, definitely look old. But aren't they pretty? And there's just a whole thing full of these. And she must have been trying to sell them at one point because she has a $3 tag on them. But these were all in a box. And she gave me the whole box for $2. Oh, pardon me for reaching out of frame. Oh, I forgot these. I should have put these in my last haul uh, of non-Christmas. Um, these came from another garage sale and I must have just put them in this box. But I thought it was so neat. It's a vintage Stretch and Sew sewing book part one. And it has... I mean, it's so neat. And it, whoever used it, used it well. She's got little notes and everything in there. And then I found these unused from 1974 stretch and sew patterns. And there's one, two, three, four. And I think I'll just list these on my uh, Macari site along with the book and I paid two dollars for all this let me set that off to the side here okay now the rest of the box came with in the two dollar box so I got a little Noel sign I think I'll use it up a little bit because it it needs a little something but it's really cute I got more Christmas ornaments and I don't know if I'll use these because I think I've got enough ornaments for my two little trees but they're very pretty I might give those to my one of my sisters or something if they want them then it came with this cute little tree so now I have a third tree a small one to decorate <laughs> oh my let's get into this and then there's all these extra lights and stuff. And then there's this cute Christmas apple, I want to say. It's not even used. It's still in the package, for heaven's sakes. Let's get that off of there. <laughs> Open up. And it's just a really cute, sparkly Christmas apple. And then there was this really cute ballerina in there. Isn't she pretty? She'll look pretty on the tree somewhere. Oh, I don't want to lose those. Mercy sakes. Then there was this whole bag of bells. And I'll just pull out one to show you. Uh, I think I can't. They're all together. But they're just... Ooh, listen to that. They're just Christmas bells. And they'll look pretty in a little ornament. 
I think they'll look pretty hanging somewhere. I'll put a new bow on it, but I think those are pretty. And I was going through this bag just digging out a few items. And, I mean, this whole box, digging out a few items. And she says, I'll just let you have that whole box because it was the last day of her sale. She goes, if you want that whole box, $2. And I said, okay, sounds reasonable to me. And then I got this hole down at the bottom here. Let me see if I can get this without spilling everything. Oh my goodness. Let's move some of this out of the way. Put little snowman back. And it's just a whole box of these different ornaments. Brand new, still in the package. And look how cute and pretty they are. And I'm thinking I found my theme for one of my trees anyway, and it's going to be all white decorations. My tree is a multicolored light tree, and so is the little topper. You saw that in another haul. It's a vintage topper star, and it's got multicolored lights. But I think all the other decorations are going to be white and, and clear like this. And these are brand new, not even used. Still got the tags on them. And there's just all kinds of them. Look at this. Aren't these beautiful? They were $2.19 a piece. Yes. Does it say where she got them? No. But the tags say $2.19 a piece. But aren't these pretty? Look at that. And the box is just chock full of these things. <laughs> got a gold puffy heart. I don't think I'll use that. I might get, give that away. And then there's a baggie full of these, different gold trimmed ones, and they're quite, oh, aren't those pretty? Well, I didn't see the other side. Let me get this hook off of here, and we'll see if we can't. Does this open? It looks like it might open. No, it doesn't open. Let me get this old hook off of here that's intertwined itself. This is one side. Isn't that pretty? And then there's the other side. It's a little dollhouse. Isn't that pretty? That is so cute. And then the other one is just a little, two little gold ones that hang and are colorful. But if I go with white and gold, those might go on the tree, maybe. We'll see. And what else is in here? More of these. And then there's a ton. Oh, look at this one. This one's pretty, too. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then a ton of these little red bows. Just a ton of them. And there's this beautiful... Look at this. Still still got the tag. It's a piano. And they're just, they're gorgeous. Does it say where it's from? No, just cherished trims. But there's, a, this whole box is just full of these little things. Oh, look at this little kid's toy. Must have been in there. <laughs> That's kind of cute. But that's the entire box of that. Look at that. And like I said, they all got their tags on them. They're brand new. So, couldn't resist that. Let me set these back down in here so I don't mess things up. And then there was this little bottle brush tree in there. Which I definitely can use that. Put that in one of my lanterns or something. Do a holiday scene with it. And what's in this last box? Oh, a bunch of cute, small ornaments. <laughs> Look at that little bear. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And there's two of them. There's one playing a flute. And then there's a bunch of these little tiny bulbs. Maybe I'll use those on my second tree in, in another room. But 
the whole box, everything I showed you was two dollars. So I figured that was a bargain since I needed some Christmas decor for decorating this year because I had gotten rid of a lot of mine when we moved in here downsizing and I didn't decorate too much for Christmas but this year I want to so I've been finding bargains galore <laughs> at garage sales I tell you if you have never been garage sailing or going to a thrift store check it out you can find if you're patient you can find just about anything you're looking for at a good price okay the next item I'm going to show you is this box over here so excuse me for a minute while I reach down because <laughs> this one's kind of big and this is really dirty but I'm going to show it to you there's this and this is the bottom of it let me see if I can get this all in here to show you this is going to be one of my redos, but it's a little, um, what do you call these vignettes or terrariums or whatever, and it's set up for Christmas, and I hope I can get that in frame, has a bottom on it, and it's got a cute tree and stuff in there, but it needs cleaned, it's quite dirty, it does open up, up top here, and it has a light in it, but I'm going to totally clean this, strip it down, and do another little Christmas scene in there with it. And that'll look really cute sitting out at Christmas time. So I got that. Now let me set that down out of the way. And we'll get to the rest of this box. And this whole box of stuff I also got for $2. And I spent, I think, an hour pulling these out and rewinding them around something. So I got all this pearl chain or pearl garland, which will go nicely on my Christmas tree. Oh, and I'm going to try and pull this box up here so it's a little easier. It also had this little angel in it. It had a ton of these. Look at these. Aren't these gorgeous? Those are going to look beautiful hanging on the branches in my tree. And I took, and like I said, it took me an hour or maybe two to sort all this out. Because she just had it all dumped in this box. But there were also these cute little snowflake wood ornaments in there. Let me show you a couple of those. And let's see. Oh, yes. And she had apparently made some lace hearts. Let's see if I can show you those. I don't know if I'll use the lace hearts excuse me lace hearts or not but that's what's in this bag because I had to sort all this stuff out it was all and let me tell you the beads were in a tangle so it took me forever to sort all these beads out and wrap all these beads because there's a lot okay on to the next bag in this bag she had all these kind of ornaments aren't they pretty so that's why I got the idea to do all white glass clear and crystal ornaments on my living room tree and that's what this one is full of with all these glass ornaments I mean white ornaments Whew. okay I'm gonna set this down for a second so I can go through this better Okay, what's in this one? Okay, and in this bag, and then, oh, it took me forever to get these untangled from the pearls. But she had 
a ton of these white snowflakes, white glitter snowflakes, and I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see the glitter on them. And they're just so pretty and delicate. And those are going to look beautiful on the tree. And like I said, there's an entire bag full. I had to sort these all out. And let's see, one last bag. Nope, two last bags. But I sorted through and got them all sorted out. In this bag, we have all these beautiful, let me get one of each to show you, dangles. And there's several of these in here, and I'm just going to grab one of each to show you. Aren't these pretty? I mean, they're going to look so pretty on the tree with the pearls and everything. And there's a bunch of those in here, as you can see. I'll show you more. All kinds of them. And the last bag was all these and they're angels and birds. Let me show you. There's this style of bird. And this style of angel. And they're just so pretty and yeah, they're going to go on my tree. My tree is going to be, and see, and there's this bird that has a star instead of a tree. These are going to look so pretty on the tree with the pearls and everything. I think it's going to look absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to decorate up my tree this year. But it was all thrown in this box, all catawampus, and I sat here for an hour or more. Sorting all these out and untangling them. I just love these that drape on the branches. I don't know. They might be a little too heavy for my branches. Maybe I'll use them somewhere else. I don't know. But they are just so gorgeous. For $2 to get all this, I went for that. And I think that covers it for the Christmas stuff. And part two of this haul. <laughs> So, if you haven't seen part one, like I said, please check one of these things. It'll be in the link. And uh, stay tuned for my Seasonal Home Autumn Tray Challenge with Holiday Cookie Diva coming out on September 15th. And then on September 28th, I'm going to be doing the Fall Thrift Store Flip Challenge with the Holiday Cookie Diva. And that's where you... Uh, Take, go to the thrift store, find some kind of fall decor item that needs a little upgrading and upgrade it. So stay tuned for those two videos. Like I said, I'm new, fairly new to the DIY. <laughs> if you haven't seen my DIY collab I did with um, Annie Cuckoo uh, for a fall decor thing for $5 and under, it'll be somewhere one of these corners are down below. Take a look at that. That was my first ever trying to do something. And I do it live with y'all because, like I said, I'm not special, you know, I, I'm not, quote, a good DIYer, but I give it my best shot. And I'm finding it's a lot of fun to try and be creative like that. And so I'm going to try the next couple of DIYs and see how they go. And I'm taking y'all with me. I just want to show people that don't be afraid just because you don't think you know how to do it, uh, that you can do it. Just keep playing with it and um, eventually you get something nice. So just, you know, if you were like me in the beginning, I was, I was afraid to do that. I didn't want to, um, you know, do DIYs because I don't think my stuff turns out that great. <laughs> But I did it, and it was a lot of fun, and I did learn a lot watching the other YouTubers that were in on this collab. So, especially how to make a bow, because if you watch that first DIY I did, my bow was a, it was a disaster. <laughs> 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 
but I did it and I was proud of it and I am proud of it and so I'm going to do more so please stay tuned for those and um, we'll catch you in the next video uh, once again I'm Thrifty Tina B please like share and subscribe please don't forget to hit the like button down below and if you're new here please if you want to hit the subscribe button and come back and see me again because I'm going to be doing more and I'm taking you all along with me and we'll see what we can get done as far as DIYs and stuff like that and also my usual hauls and stuff that will be up on this channel so I just want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed I appreciate it um, I am so happy that uh, Y'all have subscribed and come back and do see me. So uh, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you again for that. Uh, you are much appreciated. And uh, I look forward to uh, doing more videos for you. And I hope I entertain you somewhat. <laughs> and uh, I just want to say have a happy day and happy thrifting. And y'all, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.